kind of music that we're doing has really kind of caught on again. Uh, 90s country, uh, still doing some of the old country rock from the 70s, Eagles, Poco, Marshall Tucker Band. Not a lot of bands are doing that now. We like doing the harmony bands, like, you know, Diamond Rio kind of stuff, stuff that's real harmony intense. Three-part harmony vocals make it a lot of fun. Yeah, that's... Getting to sing with these guys is, it's a treat. I'm an avid Beatle fan, and I collected all kinds of Beatle paraphernalia, which included back in the 70s, um, bootleg albums. And uh, one of the albums was titled, The Beatles Live at Whiskey Flats. So we are thrilled to be here. We have limited ourselves to outdoor shows, this being an exception. Our, our opener for this show is Jesse Kaftansky's Band of Barley, of course. We do have a surprise planned if you can hang in through both sets and into the encore. <laughs> Our band of barley, Celtic Americano. We've got Chopper on the Boron, and uh, these are Highland Pipes, and Jesse's tenor guitar. The other two fellows, we have our bass player Jan and uh, our fiddle player Steve. High energy mostly, a few laughs, a few. Uh, few uh, limericks, perhaps. Yeah. Club songs, <laughs> sea shanties, uh, limericks, and poetry. No one really so. knows who wrote them. They're or, you know, only origins and how they came up through the times. Uh, people from uh, gardeners in their backyards to, uh, singing them, keeping tradition alive, all the way to people playing them in pubs and breweries. <laughs> Um, it, the music is steeped into so much of what is known as Americana, whether it's blues, country music, bluegrass. Uh, so it's kind of fun to sort of explore like the roots of where a lot of those sounds and styles come from. <laughs> 